So you might recall a video I did a few months ago where I talked about how the son of the popular pastor John Piper, his son is an atheist who gained now over a million followers on TikTok, where he, among other things, he mocks and makes fun of Christianity. Now, recently, he put out a video where he complains about hell and how evil God would have to be if hell were real. And here's what he says. People saying they wish hell was real yesterday. You hear that a lot after notorious people die. And I resonate with that. Nobody actually means it. They're just pissed. And they're expressing their frustration hyperbolically. <laughs> but my brain always goes to the same place and takes it literally. Let's say Christian Hellfire is real. If I got to hold the worst person ever over an open flame, how long could I do it? It's stupid and grotesque, but we're talking about hell here. So yeah, stupid and grotesque. Could I even do it for five seconds? No, of course not. And neither could you because it doesn't matter how bad they are. We are good. Good enough to not burn people alive anyway. What's interesting to me about this thought experiment that nobody asked me to conduct is that it shows you have to be insanely evil yourself to give evil people what they deserve. Only evil people can give evil people what they deserve. Because maybe, despite all our instincts, punitive justice is bull****. The overwhelming urge to give people what they deserve is one of the stupidest and most destructive aspects of human nature. So his basic point is that if you're a good person, then you wouldn't allow someone to suffer or even be tortured, even if they did deserve it. In fact, he argued how stupid and evil you would have to be in order to give evil people what they deserved. Now, what's wrong with this argument? Lots of things, almost too many to count, but let's just go ahead and roll with it and assume that everything that he says here is true. So let's go ahead and say that he's right and that it would be evil to actually give somebody who is evil what they deserve. So now with that in mind, let's go ahead and immerse ourselves a little bit more deeply into this world that Abraham Piper dreams about. Now I want you to remember how Abraham said that giving people what they deserve is actually one of the biggest issues with human nature. Remember he said this, the overwhelming urge to give people what they deserve is one of the stupidest and most destructive aspects of human nature. Now, what's ironic here is that his video here was intended to criticize Christianity, but in reality, his critique only works for every other religion besides Christianity. Salvation in every other religion is quite literally based on you getting what you deserve. But the central message of Christianity is that God loved his creation so much that he came into our world and died in our place so that way we wouldn't get what we deserved. He didn't get what he deserved so that way we wouldn't get what we deserved. Think about it. The central message of Christianity Christianity is not only one that escapes his criticism, but it's also the one that best fits into Abraham's dream scenario. So us knocking on what we deserve is an act of mercy, and the fact that we're offered it freely as a free gift is what we mean when we speak of grace, and nothing can be more loving than that. But at this point, you may be thinking, wouldn't it be more loving to just send everyone to heaven when they die, even if they don't choose to accept the free gift of entering into heaven? And to this I would say, no. It would actually be unloving to force us to accept a gift that we don't want. So the loving thing to do would be to allow people to freely choose to accept the gift or not. So even if his theology and his conception of hell were completely accurate, which I don't believe it is, then Christianity would still be the most loving option. Even on Abraham's own view of hell, hell isn't giving people what they deserve because all of us deserve hell. Instead, hell is giving them what they choose, even though God offers them the free gift of eternal life. All they have to do is accept it. So, if Abraham Piper really believes what he says, then he should be all for the Christian conception of God and accept that it's the best example of the world that he desires for us to live in. But that's not everything Abraham says about hell. He has some more videos about hell that we need to discuss, but we'll save those for another time. In the meantime, go ahead and check out this video where Abraham tries to argue from the Bible to show how absurd Christianity is. I'll meet you over there, but the next time that you hear someone saying you have to be insanely evil yourself to give evil people what they deserve. What are you going to say? What do you mean?